Hi, it's Teresa with Crafty with Teresa. Thank you for joining me today. Today will be a quick video where we will do our random make it together show and tell. I love this part because I get entries from folks who want to show their work and I'm excited to see their ideas and inspiration also. If you're new to my channel, which I do have some new subscribers, so welcome. Thank you so much. And I want to thank all those that have stayed with me because I know I do have some lapses in time because of family matters. For those that are new, this challenge is something we do about once a quarter. And basically, somebody from the team comes up with some guidelines, and you are to create something from those guidelines. So here's a, an example of some of the guidelines submitted to us from Diana. So just a quick recap of the challenge, the design that she asked us to create has to do with change. The sentiment needed to be four words. The embellishments needed to have ribbon and sequence. And then the paper needed to be a color, but it must not include pink. So let's take a look at what the team came up with. The first card you see here was sent to me from Barb. She grabbed all the elements for this card. I love how she used random sayings for her sentiment. Obviously the change here is a graduation. And how cute is it that she used a tassel as her ribbon type element? I just think this turned out so cute. Diana loves to take ideas and challenges like this and make the cutest scrapbook layouts. So here you see she has some elements in here, basically. I see the ribbon. I love the bow. I do see the sequence on the top left. Her note at the bottom talks about the journey, taking it one step at a time, it looks to be. I'm sure we'll hear more from Diana about that. What a great idea. Next, we have Donna's scrapbook layout. Obviously, the change here is welcoming in her new grandson. What's so wonderful about this is the fact that it is fourth generation on one side of the family and third generation on the other side of the family. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. And last but not least, we're going to take a look at mine. If you've actually seen my April card of the month video, you've seen the card. Here. So the card is basically taking all of the elements, putting them together to congratulate a very good friend of mine that just got promoted. It was well deserved. I've known her for a while. So you see the ribbon, the sequence. Had to stretch that a bit to try to get those four words, and then Diana knows how difficult it is for me to make something without pink, so I had to work really hard on that one, but that lavender turned out beautiful. And of course, I love the embossing fold. And last but not least, if you've watched my Frugal Friday video, you will have seen this card. And the change here is I needed to make a graduation card to take to the nursing home. I'm gathering up cards to deliver to them. And I love how this turned out. In what you'll see here is the card was made with tissue paper. Again, that's in my Frugal Friday video and I'll link it. And then the, the door here is basically how they're opening the door to new adventures. And so what you see here on the outside is the congratulations on your new and then you flip it over on on the inside it says adventures and then of course there's the key to unlock that door I think it turned out cute what do you think so to end this video I thought I'd go ahead and include my coming soon calendar of events I won't go into all the details because it's right there for you to see and we'll have another video coming out, but you're not going to believe how many household products I'll have coming up in the next couple of months for our Frugal Friday series. The cards that are going to be made this month, I think you're going to really like them.
of course we have our sheet load of cards and then I plan to show some of the fun scrapbook layouts that were made this month. We really had a great time in our virtual session. So, thank you again for joining me. Stay tuned, more videos to come. Until next time, have a great day.